Hello and welcome to episode four of Project 175 in a very wet and windy hillside golf club for the British Masters. Uh, I'm going to put links in the description below with the three previous episodes so you can catch up on what the challenge is all about. But essentially, this is my quest to hit a ball speed with a driver that I've never done before of 175 miles an hour. And the reason we're here today is to talk to some of the Callaway Tour players about how they've done it, how they've added speed through their technique and through their equipment setup. It will be interesting to see. Guys, if you're new to the Golf Monthly channel, please do hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any of our videos. Hit the like button if you like what you're watching and please do leave comments below. Do you think I can get to 175 and what do you think of the advice I'm getting in this video? It will be interesting to see. Right, enough of that. Let's head out and find out what the Callaway guys have got to say. specifically the swing stuff. Yeah. What's been the key to that in terms of ball speed, um, in terms of swing speed? So we we found that if, obviously if I want to step on a driver, get a few extra yards, sort of on like a par five or a par four, that we, t we tend to have sort of the wider stance, okay. um, the ball a bit far, further forward, and I tend to try and hit up, up and to the left. Okay, right. Just swing it obviously as hard as you can. Um, and that just gives me that little high, high fade. And Quick question I've got for you then. For all of us, yep. average golfers out there, when I try and absolutely smash one, that's when it all goes know, wrong. That's when <laughs> the full right comes into the yeah. ball game. How, how is it? That, what work have you done to kind of up the ball speed without losing control? Um, I guess I guess that's got to do with stability. Uh, okay. So obviously that's again all the gym work, all the core exercises, and just making sure that when you do well it, you can stand up and yeah. it's, it's not going all over the place. What would your uh, launch one to data be with driver? What would be your ball speed, club head speed in particular? Um, I'm not as quick as people imagine. Um, probably around the 120 mile swing speed, maybe sometimes 21, 22. That's quite quick. Yeah, but there's, there's, there's guys that are a lot quicker than me out here. Uh, ball speeds uh, around 180. Uh, launch uh, about 12 degrees launch probably about five six degrees up uh, two five spin okay Bye. I have a couple more questions how old are you uh, 38 well that does that mean I'm past my best yeah you pass your best by by yeah by 10 years probably <laughs> yeah between 10 and eight years good I'm turning 36 in in two weeks uh, so uh, <laughs> not in, in more than a week so, okay. so, so, uh, then the time machine. so now you, uh, I think it's going to be tough for you to, to reach that 175 mile an hour swing, but, but, um, but for you, I recommend you to, to try to hit it straight, not long anymore. Okay. You're, you're not, you, you're not young enough to hit it, to hit it long anymore. Uh, so in a week like this, British Masters week, what does that gym work entail? Are you going onto the physio truck before you go out every day? What, yeah. what, what, what do you do? Yeah, so we'll be doing a, a warm up before we go on the range, um, sort of before today on the pram, before the pram, um, before we go and play tomorrow. Um, so that'll be just in the, in the locker room with my trainer, a few okay. bands, just doing a few exercises, just to get the body warm and just activated. Yes, that actually ties in nicely with what James Wiltshire said in the third video in this series. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. James talks a lot about how these guys do their warming up, you know, away from the range. So you're watching guys hitting yeah. wedge, seven iron, you know, yeah. up and up through the bag. Yeah. But actually, you've done all the hard done work stuff before, before that. Yeah, yeah, because obviously you can get onto the range and be cold swinging and you're just you're just not turning correctly or just not getting in the right position so obviously we do sort of band work and get the body warm before getting out to the range and then we can we can unleash for me to get the best speed ball speed wise the biggest thing is strike okay if you miss strike it your ball speed will fall off okay good because the driver that i've been fitted for is half an inch shorter than standard so yeah yep. i thought they might even crank the length of mm -hmm. the shaft to help me get there it's yeah. not what matt from callaway did he actually exactly, yeah. took it down a bit mm -hmm. do you think that's a good idea yeah because like i said you could have the longest drive in the world which will probably help your swing speed but if you're not hitting out of the middle it will fall off straight away your speed you okay. have to hit out of the middle okay to get and, max speed and for all the people watching this out there 
what, what's a good tip for just delivering that little bit more club head speed with driver? If uh, accuracy isn't isn't a problem, like, isn't an issue, which it obviously isn't. Sometimes it is. <laughs> but if, if it doesn't really matter where the ball goes, I would say to try and the, the best thing to do is try and use the ground as well as you can. So it, what I mean by that is on the back swing, get as big a shoulder turn as you can, and if anything, gain some height, and then basically get into the ground as much as you can or squat into the ground. So you squat on the way down. And yeah, then. from the top, leave leave your hands up, squat as deep as you can. These feels will be very different to real. You probably won't do it very much, but the feel would be big squat into the ground, which you can then come up out of, and so using the ground to gain much speed. But like I said, trying to do that, that the accuracy could go a bit, but to get okay. the most speed, that's what I would do. I think um, I'm a pretty efficient guy with speeds, launch angle and uh, attack angle. Uh, okay. Um, so um, you'd have a lot of guys that swing it very fast but hit down on it so they don't really get the most of, of the equipment that we have at hand now. Uh, you obviously want to hit up on the ball with not too much spin so you want that high launch with uh, with minimum spin which is going to allow you to, to carry the ball a long way. So when you say hit up on it, what, what sort of angle attack are we talking? Well, I mean, you have to imagine that this is your ball and this is your club. Uh, with the irons, you're going to hit down on the ball and with the woods, you're going to do the other way around. You're going to hit up on it. So instead of catching that top half of the ball, you hit the bottom half of it. Okay. I gain uh, ball speed uh, using a good driver with a good ball together. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so th th that's this year? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But he's 23. No, no, true, true, 22. 22. He's 38. <laughs> Going. Obviously, a key part of this is the driver itself. Mm -hmm. um, firstly, can you just tell us what you've got in the bag and how it's set up? So I've got the Epic Flash Sub-Zero. Um, it's the triple diamond head and it's eight and a half, but it's set a degree lower, so it's more like seven and a half. Okay. Um, because right, I, I tend to hit up on it quite a lot. Do you? So I need to get sort of that, that spin and that launch down for me. Um, and then I got the 10C white uh, 70, Torex in there as well. So what is your, what would your angle of attack be? <laughs> sort of a couple up. A couple up. Yeah, and with the driver. So with this driver and the new Chrome Soft, I gain probably about a five mile an hour ball speed, which for us is a, is a lot. That's a lot. Okay, here in the tented village at the British Masters in Callaway have this uh, pop-up sim where people are coming down and trying to uh, get the longest drive they possibly can. Thought it was a good opportunity. Get out of the rain, find out just how fast uh, I'm able to get my ball speed up to. Uh, notice the warm up I've been through. Let's give it a go. I'll get him the longest drive. Yeah, get him the longest drive, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's pop that in. It's a lovely shot. Ball. We'll round it down. Hey guys, how are you doing? Is that a bit high? We're out, 161. It's a good shot though, isn't it? So there you have it. Fastest I was able to get in here was 161, not quite the right shaft, um, work to be done. And you're gonna have to lean back a bit more when you hit the ball, you know, if you stay centered and hit the ball on the way down, the ball is never gonna take off. So you want to stand a little bit more behind, maybe feel like you're a little bit close to the, to, to the target and uh, allow yourself allow you, the, the, the club to have a bit more time to come and, and catch the ball on the upper part of the arc. Any help? Is, is that any good? Or? <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is one I'm going to try. Lean back, hit it up on the arc. Try Just tee it up like that. Stand back and close your eyes and give everything you got. <laughs> there you go. And hopefully, I'll hit the fairway. I'd, I'd definitely say that the, the warm-up that I do before I go out and hit balls definitely helps. Yeah. If I just come in from getting out of the car, go straight onto the range, I, I'm not, my body's not ready to, to hit ball. And then anything to do with the swing or the way um, that... Like, well, like, like I said at the start, for, for me, when I try and hit that sort of long ball, yeah, sort of wider stance, ball a bit more forward, and I try and hit up and to left, because I like to hit that sort of that high fade. So, yeah, okay. so it's long, but it's still got the accuracy. Yeah. So there you have it, it's been a fantastic day here at the, the British Masters. I've had some really good insights from some of the tour guys about how they deliver power into the ball. Um, a couple of the commonalities, I think, uh, obviously warming up properly, as James was giving me the advice on earlier, it's something the players do, but they don't do it on the range, they do it away from the range. Uh, and also, 
uh, hitting up on the ball. That clearly is something I need to do a little bit better. Seems like a plus two angle of attack uh, might just help me get there. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please do hit the uh, like button. Uh, comment below as well. What do you think about the advice I've been given? Um, but for now, from Hillside, it's goodbye.